Hey guys, welcome to Dragon1331's channel on YouTube, bringing you some Minecraft dailies. This is the first episode. I'm going to show you some inventions that I made. And I'll probably throw in a tutorial sooner or later here. Okay, so what this is, I'll show you. It's a minecart based storage system, or lock system, I mean. So you can lock your door with a code using buttons. Okay, so I've set the code to be 1 and 3. As soon as I hit this button here, the door opens. Okay, so how this works is you see these buttons here are connected to off uh, or to powered rails. And they get powered once the button is pushed, and they are powered while all the rails go down to pressure plates. Powering redstone inverting this torch here which goes over here oh, you can set it I can do like this and the password will be one and this should not be down then there we go now the password is one which leads over here actually activating this torch yeah it's a bit different from over here because you have an input here with powered rail powered redstone heads off which allows the torch to be powered as you see if I put something over here on this here oh wait yeah you see this gets powered and it's not powered over there so wait yeah yeah like that this is not powered now so let's just remove that goes up no okay never mind there we go um, this powers into here to this switch. This uh, this works in the way that it gets input from one place. So if I just knock this off, it will be glowing. It will be on. But now it's off because it's powered by another one. There's redstone in the middle here, and here's another input going to the button that opened the door. Going through redstone up here. So once you when you push it, it will lift this up or uh, power it off allowing the this torch to be set to on going all the way over it to here under the button that opens the door okay. so yeah that was pretty much it um, I have not figured out a way for the cuts to reset by pushing a button I know that you could use pistons, but I'm pretty. I've already tried, and it didn't work out that well. It destroyed the whole thing. Well, it's not, and it's not very complicated. I will put up a tutorial probably later today if I have time. Got a lot of school work to do. A lot of catching up to do. So yeah, this was it for today's episode. This was Dragon One Two Three One here. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and like. And all oh right, if you know any way to get the cards to reset by pushing a button, please leave me a comment or send me a message on YouTube, anything like that. And yeah, this is it for the day. Bye.